Hey, it's Coach Nick Tuminello, and I wanted to show you what we're calling the Pow Off Press 2.0. I have my very good friend and mentor, Coach J.C. Santana, out of IHP in Boca Raton, Florida, to thank for this variation. I'm not sure what he calls it. I've just called it the Pow Off Press 2.0. Basically, we're just going to add a little bit of movement um, to the Pow Off Press to make it a little bit tougher, a little bit uh, more of a challenge. So this is a progression from the Pow Off Press. So basically what I'm going to do is set up the exact same way as I'd start with the pal off press. Depending on your foot width is going to make it harder or easier. This is going to make it easier, this is going to make it a little harder. So instead of just going straight out and then coming back, I'm actually going to hold it out, keep my hips stable, and I'm going to move my arms in between my shoulders. So it's kind of like a tight rotation. So here, and I'm just going to move my hands side to side without moving my hips. If you move your hips, it's a different exercise. Uh, the way JC talks about this is that you're really working on core stiffness. Now, you could argue what that, what that is or what not. It's all terminology. It's a great exercise. So, basically what we're looking at here, hip stable. And I'm not saying turn your thoracic while keeping your hips stable. It's not what we're talking about. We're just moving the arms a little bit. Is there a little thoracic motion in there? Yeah. It's very, 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 very minor not as big as like the half kneeling rotation which, which we've eliminated and discussed in another video. So let me demonstrate one more time. Palo off press 2.0. If you're doing your palo off presses, now take it to the next level. I'm out, start level, start in the middle, hands coming straight out of your shoulders and then just move back and forth in between your shoulders. And I'm using a double yellow JC band which is a uh, which is not easy. Do 20 to 30 reps of those, counting one, two, three, hip stable, slight movement at your arms. Well, that'll light up the rotary core muscles. Big time core stability, core stiffness, core strength, whatever you want to call it. Fantastic exercise. Give it a shot.